Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Backpack Hero, um, where we've decided to go for another range build. Um, is it a good idea? I'm going to say no, but maybe you can be the judge here as we continue along. Um, we've made it decently far so far, I can't actually remember the name of the area that we're in currently, maybe we can see... We're in the start of the Enchanted Swamp, that's right, okay, so when we last left off, we had picked up some extra goodies here which work nicely. Unfortunately this doesn't work alongside here so we kind of need to put this here but that will unfortunately mean that this then raises up there. So um, enough of that though, let's just continue on with our journey shall we? And see how we fare against these guys. Now, I'm taking damage you add block to everyone. We want to pop our slow to all enemies plus weak. We'll actually pop our cave fish as well for some regen. We only have two energy. So who do we go for here? We need to get you out first, I believe. We go one, two, and we might as well just pop our shield here for no good reason other than we can. Now again, the slow is great for those who add block. You are healing everybody, so we do need to take you out as quickly as possible. One, two, three. Now we cannot afford to kill you here. We don't actually need to block, but I mean, we might as well when we've got the spear energy, right? So again, our windmill is going to be great, but not with our composite bow. It's not a great combo piece with this one. That's not to say that it's not useful. We will take you out here. Again, we want something that doesn't get more, exp uh, more expensive every time it's used. We want to have something that costs maybe just one across the board. Take you out. Focus on you. You do have some... Um, spikes. I don't think spikes actually change anything for us, but we can't even attack anyway, so our region is running out. That's absolutely fine. One, two, and why are the spikes not hitting us? Oh, are we not attacking with melee? Is that why spikes are not hitting us? No. I'm not too sure. I'm honestly not too sure on that one. Um, I'm sure we'll figure it out later on. Feel free to let me know in the comments below as well. Maybe it does make complete sense and I'm just a moron. That's a pretty pretty good chance of that happening, I think. Um, I think we swap out this one for our knight's armor, honestly. That means that these get better. I honestly wouldn't mind our boots. Boots are some pretty good block too. And we do have another arrow here. So now we can go here. And I think all things considered, that's pretty good for us. We'll pop this here so that we can use our dodge potion immediately and we'll just continue onwards. Now again, we have filled up our inventory and that's not necessarily the best thing ever. We do have someone that we can sell at here. But I think we go for our next enemy here first and then we decide what to do. Now we will actually pop our dodge. No, we don't want to use our dodge potion just yet, do we? How much damage? Two damage and five damage. Whoever we attack slows. We just go for you. 9, 18, 23. That's good enough. We can get two shots in here. You do add some block. That's fine. You don't really care about the block too much. We will continue going for you. 1, 2. That's enough. It's not enough. We can take you out here though. Not enough energy. Never mind, we cannot. Just, we need to find a new bow. Our bow is our real kryptonite here, that's for sure. Oh god, we can't even get through here now, can we? 18 plus 4, 22. That's fine. And we finally get you here. Beautiful. Now we can start working on you, I suppose. Either one of you. Actually, the slow does reduce the amount of block that you put up each time as well. So let's just start ripping into you. In fact, why don't we get a couple of... Ah, oh, no, we... Yeah, what? Well, hmm. Yeah, why not? Get a couple shots into you, or a shot into you, I suppose. Having an extra energy there waste every turn is really not good. Um, you don't need me to tell you that. But I'm sure you can figure it out for yourself. At least we can pop our shield, so it's not completely useless, but we would prefer to be doing more damage um, each and every turn. Especially considering that we're doing minimal damage here for these combats. We need to clear out space. I think I've gone too much into our passive block and not enough into our damage here. I mean, we're only doing seven damage per shot here at the moment. We just need to get through these as fast as possible now. 
We're just like Legolas spamming our bow right now, except Legolas was actually doing some decent damage in the movies. Yeah, maybe we just sell our dodge potion. I'm not too sure. Well, let's just see what we get here. We get some items. The arrow. A peridot. Adjacent weapons get plus one poison. They get minus one damage. Poison is not bad. Poison is not bad. I. It is a rare item as well. I think we actually remove our sapphire and we pop this into here. It does float though, so that's the only concern there again. But I think we maybe go and sell this. So we finished using this, we will head up to our shop here, sell this for 10. We do have another crooked arrow. Is there a way that we can get both crooked arrows working there for it? I honestly think that there is. Yeah, I think that there really is. So I think if we can sell that one and then pick up this one, that would be pretty damn nice. In fact, why don't we do it now? We don't really want to sell it though, because it doesn't sell for much there, right? That's again, we don't want to sell items unless it's really worth it. 20 gold, actually did we have anything? We do have an anvil, so why don't we keep this for right now. We'll check out what's at our anvil, because it might be that we want to forge something even better. We block to a shield. Three slow to enemy to a weapon, add one poison to a weapon. Already added a slow here. block to a shield what's our current shield doing wouldn't mind an extra buff there to our shield I guess we'll just wait on that one we'll come back to that at a later stage not too sure what we want to go for okay we're going for you in the back here again one two that's all we can do to start with at least that means that you are putting up no block can we actually beat your region <laughs> that's gonna be a concern one Two, three. Oh my god, we currently cannot beat your regen unless we maybe pop out dodge potion. Dodge the poison. We still get the curse added, which is not great. Pop you here. We're not putting up any block. Now, are we doing enough damage here now? Six damage. I think we are now beating you in terms of the DPS race. We are. You've got so much slow. But you healed back up to full anyway. Can at least use this. Actually, we've got a lot of poison on us now, don't we? That's not great. Please don't tell me that we're going to die to this. Okay, you are slowly dying yourself, though. So one, two, three. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Our passive block here. Oof. One spikes to all enemies. I think we just have to skip the curse and take the damage here, but it's... The fact that you're doing that every single turn is actually very nasty. Go one, two, three. And we'll also scratch the three damage. Because we don't need to block here. Is the poison going to get us killed? I think there's a high chance of it, honestly. I think this build is just not going to work for us with all this crap in the way. So our passive block is good. Oh my god, you're back up to full HP. I think our only chance now is to maybe reorganize, drop one of this. But we can't do that, it costs three. But I mean, we're currently losing here, aren't we? And you're doing that every single turn. So we need to reorganize. We need to ditch this. I think we ditch this as well. I don't know if we lose those, but who knows. Uh, we'll pop it like this, actually. And then we'll pop you up here. Any items left outside will be lost. Okay, well that clarifies that one for us, I suppose. Well, you know, you guys did as good, but not good enough here. Now, we can shoot you for zero. And that's just... I mean, look at how easily we did that there, right? Is the poison going to kill us, though? Not unless we kill you this turn, I suppose. But I don't know if that's a possibility. How much damage are we doing each shot here? 16 and 5. So 20 damage per shot. 1, 2, 3. And we're going to die to the poison here. <laughs> I'm just, I'm seething. I'm quietly seething. The 
crypt to the bramble. Why don't we go to the bramble? We're trying out, I don't really know what the difference is honestly, we'll figure out the worlds here. The bramble makes me think they're going to have thorns. So I'm not very happy with how that went. I'm being far too greedy with our arrow boots. We need to leave our spaces open so that we can do damage. We can't just carry everything as much as I want to sell absolutely everything that we can find along the way. We just have to leave some stuff behind it. I'm not used to doing that. On a dungeon crawl like this, I want everything. I want it all. I want it all and I want it now. Six free gem. Kill you before that becomes an issue. We do get a level up here. I really want an arrow build to work, but we need to be not greedy at all and just go as much DPS as possible. When we had the damage, we actually did pretty well. Let's go across here. I don't really know what the best way to build is. Actually, let's take that out. Let's take this out. Whoops. Let's go up like this. Let's see if that does anything for us. Um, three gold, sure. We don't have any ore currently. We'll take an acidic potion. 100% of all status effects on self. See, that seems absolutely great with regards to any kind of poison on us. We a broken ring as well, why not? Alright. Better to take something than nothing, I suppose. This is quite a big area here too, isn't it? What do we have in our question mark? Ooh. This will deepen a throng of mushrooms. You see a magical font. It's cool waters flowing. Above the water, a humid mist circles and spills over the edge. In the distance, you hear frogs croaking. No chanting. I don't want to kick it over for extra experience here. Okay, the frogs are not happy. They're also very strong. Um, cowardly. Cowardly. Oh my god, can we do enough damage to deal with you guys here? I honestly don't think that we can. We'll smack you a bunch anyway though. In fact we might be able to with our meal. Actually if we pop our meal twice now. Oh, I think we can. Okay. So we pop it. We'll also pop our acidic potion. We'll then hit you twice. We'll then pop it once more. And hit you. That's you done for. We now focus on you. So these guys are very strong and we needed to get some extra buffs here before we continue with this combat quite clearly. We're going to be adding curses, that's not ideal. One, two, three. Again, I think this is going to be a situation there where we actually can't defeat these enemies. What does this do? Adds one slow to self. On use adds 10 rage to all enemies. Actually, we're going to, we're going to skip this curse here. We're just going to take the damage. You are adding regen to yourself. You're doing 19. Is there any chance that we... Oh, we need to reorganize to get... A good item here, that's what I'm realizing. We're actually going to pop our cleansing potion to remove that immediately. One, two, three. Please, just give me a good weapon with our reorganized trigger. Ideally when they're not attacking. Nope, nothing there. Oh wow, you add regeneration to both of you. Wow, this is a really tricky fight here. Not one that you should be doing when you are undergeared and underleveled here, I can see. But hey, we are learning. We're not going to be picking up absolutely everything first time. We'll pop that to remove that as well. What's the curse that you're adding? I'm going to skip that again. <laughs> We're healing back up the full again. We need to be able to reorganize for something good, please. That's all I ask for. Now your regen plus the constant healing is just absolutely awful. I don't know if we've found ourselves in an impossible situation here. But we're not getting a chance to do anything else here. We can't allow that um, poison or that... Yeah, that poison to just keep ticking over. So we're going to do our cleansing potion. We'll keep smacking it. I think we're just done for here. I think we're going to have a very quick restart here. You live and you learn. We can get some HP, but we don't want to. That's not what we want to get. I mean, the HP is quite nice. Screw it. We're taking this. Finish reorganizing. We will pop this drink. Buys us a little bit more time. We're adding 15 regen. There's no way we can break through you all. Unless we reorganize for something absolutely bonkers. And we're also running out of our potion here. Because it looks like your curse or your poison that you're adding each turn is stacking up time and time again. Um, so we have to pop this. I mean, we're going to keep trying here, but it's fairly certain the writing seems to be on the wall. 
Pardon me. Let's use our Curse of the Slime. There's no reason not to. 22 regen added now. Now you're going to add Curse or Poison that's going to kill us in two turns, right? Yep. Bang on. Um, you've got 19 block. You're adding more and more block and regening more and more. So, writing's on the wall here, folks. I think this is going to be a quickie. We'll just take the, um, the damage. We'll even throw the cup at you just to show you how annoyed we are. So we can't justify doing this. We're going to take the damage because we're going to die here anyway. Alright, well, there we go. We learn once more. We're going to try the Bramble again. If we get the same event, we know what to do. We take out the floor first and then we get our revenge on those absolutely nasty enemies there. We have a couple question marks, so there's a chance. I don't know if that's a surefire thing of happening each time. Put up a little bit of block, we'll get some damage dealt to you. <clears throat> End our turn there. Um, let's see here, one, two, we'll just put up the block here, why not? You're both attacking. And that way we can just focus purely on you. Oh my god, is that not enough to kill you? It's not. But we'll just pop this, we want to be getting rid of that anyway eventually so that we can free up some space in our inventory. What was the reorganizer? I didn't actually see that. It might actually be worth paying attention to that sometimes. We don't need to do that because we'll kill you next turn anyway. One, two, three. Now please, just give me a good weapon. We're going to go... See, we're going to go for a couple down here, plus one up here and that's in case we get a helmet plus boots I mean double halberd we're getting two of these we get a wooden blade here plus a halberd here means that we can't keep that but that's fine I kind of want to try one of these as well oh we get some of this we might as well take this as well and now we finish choosing, now we get a halberd, we get a wooden blade. We miss out on this, but it's okay. Oh, I didn't even notice that there was a forge that we went past. What can we do here? Add a poison to a weapon, add conductive to armor, add an energy clothing. If we can afford to do the energy to clothing, that will be absolutely huge for us. Pacifist ring, interesting. Cursed shiv, creates a curse, deals five damage. And you can use it as many times as you want. The scimitar. 7 damage and it gets extra damage this combat. We have some boots. We do have another brick so we could maybe buy some bricks there if we can't do anything else here. We will come back to that. We'll absolutely come back to that. Um, let's see here. Two of these puts up enough block. And then we just go for you here at the start. No point in doing the AoE when you've both got block. We're going to play it slow here. The region's not a huge issue. Ooh. Chitty. Nah, not good enough. Not good enough. One, two, and then a block. So you start with six block every turn there, right? Yeah, okay. We go here, here, and then we just play it slow again. So we don't want to take any damage. Um, six block is now not enough. We take you out. We level up again. How do we fare here? Let's go out this way, shall we? Get some items. Okay, we do have a nice shield. Eight block or seven block with adjacency bonus. I think I prefer the seven block. A club there isn't bad either. And uh, really, honestly, a bit of extra damage with our aesthetic potion is not bad. Cool drink is great too. Place with an empty cup. Adds one energy. Honestly, that's probably... Oh, this is definitely better damage. We'll take this. We'll finish those. There's nothing rare worth selling. So I guess we just keep going. What's our question mark? Is it... Oh, hello here. Take a rare item for a curse. I mean, that's worth it. Explosive arrow. Not bad. Can't place here. Why not? We have to do the curse first. Then we can take this. Oh, we have to do the curse first. That's right. So we will finish reorganizing. Adds great luck. This item is destroyed. Okay, I think we want to add great luck, don't we? It's 
It's good for the rest of the duration of the combat. We'll put it here actually. We'll finish reorganizing that. We lose that item, but at least it means that we get a rare item here and a rare item here. Uh, cool. All right. Speaking of which, we can actually go and sell this back here, can't we? I don't think we want the arrow. I don't think we're going to go for another arrow build. So what does the fish sell for? 10. This sells for 10 as well. We're up to 15. We'll worry about that later. Curse of Slime needs to be used pretty early into our combat. So we're still looking to go for the extra energy. I think that was only on a piece of clothing, wasn't it? So that's actually a little bit tricky. Uh, let's go one, two, we're actually going to pop the Curse of Slime so they don't lose the HP. Get rid of the Curse early. That does mean that we take some damage. The good news is that we can pop our Anglerfish. And then just go for some good damage. So a bit of weak there means that you attack for less. Then do we prefer the AoE or do we go for this one here? I think we'll just go for the pure damage on you because that means two more attacks there takes you out. Go block. Block and then weakness. That's not too bad again there. Our regen keeping us nice and healthy. We'll go for a Albird. Albird into a Night Shield. I mean, reorganizing for that would be pretty damn nice too, wouldn't it? But that means a lot of damage taken. Okay, I think we instead go for our club. Into a few attacks here. We'll worry, we won't worry about that. Ooh. Paladin Sword, on you, steals 10 damage. This item is anchored for two combats. Anchored means that it can't be sold or moved, is that correct? I still think that's worth it. Dagger, interesting but not good enough. Heals, sure. Club, not good enough. Hmm. Yeah. Just take this, I guess. On we go. What do we have here? Ooh, ninja costume. Adds one dodge to self each turn. When your turn ends, remove 100% of all block on self. Okay, so it, you just ignore your block and you go straight damage, I guess. Armor to the right, uh, to the left gets plus two block. On use, adds five block. The left. I think we actually keep our knight shield for now. We could actually sell this if we wanted to for 10, which would bring us to 28. Still not enough. What is our enemy? Our big bear creature? Whatever the hell that is. Um, let's see here. That's a bit of damage coming in. Let's go for knight shield. Into 10 damage. 10 damage. There we go. So to get rid of this item, we have to not use it for a couple of combats, right? That's going to be tricky at times. Uh, let's go for some extra damage. We'll end our turn. I know that we take some damage. We'll pop our blue fin here just to get rid of it. And we just take you out. One, two, three. I mean, it's great damage, right? It's great damage. We can actually remove this if we want to. In fact, I think a shiv now is more worth it. I think I want to say it's taken up a lot of space. In fact, we're not going to worry about removing this for a while. We'll get rid of that. I wouldn't mind this for free. Um, I wouldn't mind this for free. Chip sword. So we've got quite a bit of free damage here. We'll also go for this. Oh, we can't take that one as well. Okay. Do we have a locked area? We don't, but I think the key is still worth taking. Yeah. Absolutely is. All right. That's fine, in which case we might as well just keep this for now, right? We'll go down here. Oh, that's a lot of starting block there. Let's see, one, two, we hit ya. That's one of the energy cost for this turn. That's fine, because we're only going to be using it once, then we'll smack you here instead. We still got three damage through you, not bad. We took no damage in return. Okay, there we go. So it looks like just your starting block is quite a bit more. Smack ya. Smack ya, smack ya. Okay, we break through you quite nicely. Um, let's just not worry about going too crazy with anything. Ooh, glove of knives. On you, steal two damage to all enemies. On scratch, this item is used. Okay, so we only use it by scratching. So that's a scratch build, which we're not going for just yet. 
Another machete is interesting. Okay, anchored is fine. We'll get rid of this. We'll put the helmet here. Put another key in as well. Why not? Finish choosing. Sounds good to me. Onwards we move. What do we have here at our question mark? I hope you aren't too hungry. Raid food for a cleaver. We don't have any food. Okay, we'll head back. We have 24 gold. Can we sell some goodies here? Key sells for three, sells for three, three, three. Anchored, so we can't even sell that. So we're not going to be able to get our extra bonus here from this one. Why don't we check what was back in this shop? We didn't mind trying our bricks here, right? I think that's what we're going to go for. So I think we sell our machete. We're going to try a bit of a brick build here. So these add one each. They are both heavy. That's going to be some good passive block here as well. Cleansing bomb is nice. I don't think we need it right now though. Passivus ring, not what we're going for either. I think we do just sell a whole bunch of random crap to this guy here. We won't take more items? Okay, we'll go over to your friend then. What do you want me to forge? Add a poison to a weapon. Add conductive to armor. Let's go poison to this weapon here. It's not a great extra, but it's, it's, I mean, it is something, right? It's something. Something's better than nothing. That's what I always say. We'll continue onwards. We will sell you. Um, I mean, we'll just sell you a whole bunch of crap here. We'll get more later on. There we go. We don't have much. We've got a sword and a shield. That's all we need. Plus some bricks in our bag. Um, everything else is a bit excess to requirements right now. We'll go across to here because I've already forgotten what this event was. Ah, oh, that's right. You, food for a cleaver. I mean, it might be an upgraded cleaver. I'm wondering if it's worth buying a piece of food here. How much do you sell these for? Six? We'll try it. It's a bit of a gamble. It's a bit of a gamble, but worst case scenario, we end up with a shitty cleaver. Looks good to me. Can't believe what he... I can't believe that he eats the whole thing without a moment's thought. Here you go, he says and hands you a chef knife. I won't be needing this anymore. Jack Cleaver. Deal 7 damage to the above cleaver is used. Oh, okay. So we could consider a cleaver build. Can we sell this? Or have we sold everything that we can? Won't take any more. Alright. Well, if we get a second cleaver, especially one that's very good but expensive. Um, expensive uh, energy-wise, of course, is what I mean. Then that could be a good way to go about it. We have a shop here. We could see what our cleaver sells for. Sells for six. Not bad. A dark headband. When a wand kills an enemy, add four mana to connected mana network. Okay, that could be quite good. And we do have aerial energy. Black mana stone can be great. I do like adding more great luck there, honestly. But I think we'll wait on that one. We'll keep going. Actually, we'll see what's in our forge here as well. Two block to armor. One energy to clothing, one haste to a structure. See, I still don't understand what haste does, but it must be good considering it's up there with regards to our 40 gold energy there, because energy is super good. We'll head down here, we'll go for our combats. Um, it's one dodge to enemy. Five expanse for defeating this guy. Okay, put up some extra block. Nine block, you're currently dealing 10 damage. We'll just deal with you this way. A little bit of poison there helps out. Take one damage, you heal you both. One, two, and then we just block a little bit. Even if we take some damage, it's not the end of the world. We can heal up later, of course. One, two, three. And then a couple more hits on top. So more bricks would be nice. Otherwise, a rare staff sells for a good bit. A bronze breastplate. Also sounds pretty good here. We'll take that. And one more item, a sapphire above that. Honestly not horrible. Spaghetti. Spaghetti actually sounds better to me. We'll take that. Good piece of food. We'll continue onwards. How many shops do we have here? We just have the one, so we have to be careful about what we decide to sell to him. Oh, these guys are going to be a bit nasty. We can take you out immediately, however. 
we're gonna go one, two, and three. We take you out, very nice. Now it's just you two on either side. We'll go for an additional block into one. You're dealing 13 damage. We can take one damage. One, two, three. Nice and easy. One, two. There we go. All right. We're hitting the swing of things. We do have a helmet. do have a helmet, we do have a shiv, we do also have a broken ring, um, poison potion, none um, that really makes sense to me, we just keep what we've got, in fact I think we do head back here and I think we sell our wand here, sells for 10, pretty good cash, we buy our anglerfish, increase our rarity of items again, what does this sell for, 3, 3, 3 as well, this one does sell for 6, Ah, screw it. We're not going for a cleaver build. Alright, down to a question mark. Have we hit it here? We have not. Let me pinch your cheek. Oh, okay. So we trade gold for a chance of a legendary. We absolutely will do it, but not right now. We'll do it towards the end of this floor, I believe. Okay, what happens to you? Each turn adds two rage to enemy. So we want to take you out first, I think. And we can do just that. So we go for spaghetti, we add an energy. We then go one, two, three, and four. We then, oh, we could have actually shivved you and the poison would have finished you off actually, in hindsight. Worth bearing that in mind. One, two, three, plus that. Okay, this combat's going a little bit better, that's for sure. We will level up. We just keep going for our brick area, maybe. There we go, get some items, ooh, bandages. When combat ends, heals three HP, actually pretty good. Gemstone heart, when an adjacent item kills a non-summon enemy, heal eight, absolutely huge. And uh, we'll go for a lucky ring as well for a little bit. That's pretty damn good, we picked up a legendary item, we'll head down to here. We're going to be healing up quite a bit here by finishing off the kill with a Paladin Sword. Like this example right here. So we currently have 33 HP, now we're up to 40. Great stuff. We've got some bows. Got a Knight Shield, the same as that one there. We do have a King Cleaver, which is rare. All adjacent cleavers are used. Oh my god, if we kept our other cleaver, that could have been absolutely fantastic. So we could have used our other cleaver, used the one above it, which would have used this one. And if we had other cleavers around it, then we could have had an absolutely huge, huge combo going. Uh, we'll keep this for now, is why the hell not. But we'll also check in there. We'll probably get rid of it pretty soon. Um, both of those are pretty good, as is this for extra energy. I think we go for extra energy here. That way we can throw the cup as well. Go for our final combat. We'll actually pop this immediately, then buff it at you. We're gonna go pretty hefty block territory here. No need to rush things. We would heal again here, but we already had max HP. Okay, we have some good keys. Also a sapphire. Sapphire is not really that useful. I think we just go for a key, or maybe do we, do we, we've already got two keys actually in hindsight, so maybe two is unnecessary. We finish choosing, we will head back to our shop, yes it's a bit of a way to travel, but we need to make some sales. How much does this sell for? It sells for 10, very nice. Now we can actually add, oh actually give me a moment, knight's armor could be better than this possibly. Jason get plus two. Jason Diagonal Armor gets plus two. Jason Weapon to get plus one damage. Now they both work all right. Why don't we head back here to our chest of valuables, see if we get a better armor piece that we can then add our energy to. Doesn't look like any armor in here. We do have a cleaver though, that would again have worked quite nicely with what we had going beforehand. 
nothing really spell, uh, sings to me there. So we do kind of want to go for a structure based build though. I'm wondering if we do go for rather than two blocked armor or an energy to clothing. What clothing do we have? That's helmet armor, that's clothing. So it has to be this one if we were to do any. I think we try our haste. Let's add it to this. What does haste do? Adds one haste to self. No idea, no idea. We'll figure it out. We will figure it out. What was down here again? Okay, how much gold do we have left? We have 21. We're going to make it a high chance. Legendary item, great. Ruby adjacent weapon to get plus four damage. Beautiful. Well worth it in that case. There we go. Now this is an adjacent weapon, so now I shift those extra damage as well. Thank you kindly, man. Very happy about that one. Um, I guess we go to the next floor now. Come back soon, I'm sure I will, if you allow me to get some other goodies like that. I honestly probably would have been a little bit miffed there had we have not gotten anything from that trade. Now, I do like going back to our sword base build. Okay, our teddy bear. He has... Damage from projectiles is reduced by 50%. Okay. That's 5 rage to enemy each combat. Righto. 20 damage to start with. What does the haste do? We'll add 1 additional block when blocking. Okay. That's not bad is not bad. I think we can take the one damage, especially once we kill you and we do get some healing back. Do we kill you now? We do actually. Okay, so our paladin sword is doing great. Ooh! Hello there. You're doing nothing. Okay, so you, sp you were just three dudes in a trench coat. I see. I see the joke. Alright. You're adding three haste to all enemies block when blocking. I think we just take you out here. Oh, let me not target you. Oh, you have taunt? Yes, maybe. Oh, anyone behind cannot be targeted. Okay. Let's see. I think we can finish you off actually. So we go like this into one, two, and three. Nice. Okay. So the haste is going to be a bit annoying. What are you doing? Add one dodge to all enemies. Okay. Well, your friend's dead. And you're not going to be doing much here. So we get rid of your dodge and then we smack you. There we go. What do we have? Conductor. All weapons, all connected weapons get plus 25% bonus damage. Alloy. All armor gets this effect applied. For each adjacent gem, this item gets plus three block. We have some gems, don't we? So that could be extra blockage to an hourglass. I don't like the on use, so we'll ignore that one. Maybe we go for a bit of a gem build along here. You know, I think we try something like this. I think we go here. I think we go this here. This gives these weapons bonuses. And now do we try and... We still need room for the alloy, don't we? Okay. The alloy is a two space white. I think we get rid of one of our knight shields. Two is excessive. Pop this here. We can go like this here. So now this... All armor gets this effect applied. Oh, all armor. So it doesn't need to be near them. That's not armor, that's a shield. Okay. Is that considered being in the top row? I think it's fine. Yeah, it is fine. So it is in the top row of that one. Okay, now we've got extra three block here, extra three block here each turn. Okay, so now we're getting lots and lots of passive blocks. So we are going for a bit of a block build. I wouldn't mind going for a bit of a full on block build, truth be said. Um, which we might have a chance to do later. We do have our items here. Um, oh, legendary. Hawkeye's bow. On use fires the first arrow in each row to the right. Fires the first arrow in each row to the left. Okay, so it fires both ways. 
We get rid of our lucky ring. We get rid of a key. We get rid of a second key, honestly. Get rid of all that. We take our bow. We sell our bow. We lose some keys, but we only need one key, don't we, to get through to here. Get through to the Enchanted Swamp. Now, we did run into some issues last time in our Enchanted Swamp, but I'm sure that won't happen this time. I don't have any reason why that would be the case, but I'm sure it will be. Anyway, we're going to be selling Hawkeye's bow. We're not going to be using a bit of a bow build here, thankfully. Um, I think we can all breathe a sigh of relief with that one. But um, hey, thank you all very much for tuning in here. Greatly appreciate it. We're going to be ending the episode here. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have, please do consider dropping a like and a subscription here. And um, also feel free to check out some of our Twitch content there. Twitch.tv slash Andoid. Catch us live there when we are up and running. Um, which is pretty frequently there. So hope to see you there. And I will see you next time. Bye for now there team.